What's up guys? So we're back for another one. I'm happy to say that we've made it to 200 subscribers. Again, when I started this channel, I never thought that I would even get that far. So I appreciate everybody that's watching and subscribing. I appreciate y'all enjoying my content. And with that being said, as you may have seen at this little beginning intro thing, I'll be having to shave my beard off after this video. So I figured I would capture that and I guess we could just make that our 200 subscriber special or something. But uh, I have to shave, I'm going back to work, finally. Um, so it is what it is, you know, I'm, I'm upset, but it should be pretty funny. So what do we have planned for today? Um, I actually have a mod that's very quick. I've never done it before, but I, I ordered this thing probably way back when I first bought my car and I never put it on. So let me go ahead and show you what it is. All right. So what you are seeing is a reflective vinyl piece that'll go onto the tail lights like such. Um, it should be fairly easy to install. I have one for the other side of, as well, obviously. Um, from what I understand, all you really need is one of these little squeegees with the felt tip on the end, a heat gun, some alcohol, and some soapy water. And like I said, I never did this before, but I'll go ahead and do my very best to make it look nice. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, we need to prep the surface. Um, I'll just go ahead and use my soapy water to Go ahead and spray off the white section of this light. And I'll go ahead and make sure I hit the outside areas of it too, just in case. I'm not sure how far the vinyl actually goes on it. Nope. Next up, I'm gonna use some alcohol to further clean the surface and get any grease and oil off of it that may be on there. I'll just dry it off with the other side real quick. All right, so from what I understand, I may not even need the, uh, the heat gun, but I guess it depends on how it lays out. So, We'll go ahead and we'll use the um, soapy water again and I'll kind of get a better angle of this so we can see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to start by peeling this off. Well, first let me prep the surface. Go ahead and get that nice and soapy. We'll go ahead and we'll pull this vinyl off. Place it like such. And the purpose of the soapy water being that you can move it around freely until you lock it into place. Um, so it comes off easy and that's that's why you squeegee the water out actually. So if you do so happen to mess up on placing it like I did, you can always redo it. I'm gonna do my best to get it about where I feel is right. Not exactly fully on the whole uh, section, but uh, looks to be decent to me, I guess. So once you have it where you want it, you're gonna wanna go ahead and lock it into place. I accidentally moved it again, so I will get it just right. Again, it doesn't fit perfectly, but uh, so you want to work from the middle, lock it into place like that, and then slowly work all your water out of it. And if you just so happen to mess up, you can always pull it back off. That's the method to actually um, reset it. But again, so I'm just going to continue working all this water out of it, and we will see where we get. So it's 
took me a little longer than I thought it would. Uh, again, I've never done anything like this. I accidentally burned the vinyl a little bit with the heat gun, which is because I didn't keep it moving enough. Um, and that, it gave me a little bit of trouble and I'll show you where. So I had to heat it up to get it to sit onto this little deal right here because it doesn't fully connect. And the vinyl lines up pretty good. I mean, I don't think unless you come up to it and eyeball it that you'll be able to tell that there's still white right there and stuff. But like I said, I did kind of burn it right here, but it's whatever. I paid like 20 bucks for it. If it sticks, it sticks. But with that being said, that's what that tail light looks like now as compared to stock and then the comparison of them both side by side sorry the sun's in the way i feel like it looks pretty good so uh i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side real quick i'll go ahead and time lapse that and then we will talk with you in a second more problems with the left side than it in the right side and I think it's the way that the templates were cut out I also got a lot of bubbling in this one I'll go ahead and show you really close oops sorry you can see my uh, my bubbles and for some reason this part did not want to sit right from far it looks good you know minus the, the Sun but uh this side just came out 10 times better and it was a lot easier to do but it does look pretty cool um, to be honest with you I plan on getting different tail lights at some point anyway I may or may not keep these on but I mean I just wanted to see if I could do it really and truly I, it could be the fact that these things are like two years old maybe they've uh, updated the templates or something since then to make them fit better or something like I said, whether they stay or not, I don't know. They look cool for now. Um, worst come to worst, I'll pull them off. But, you know, I had them sitting there. I just wanted to get it done and do it and whatever. So that's about it for that. And I just wanted to add one more thing, you know. Obviously, like I said, since I messed up, I could have just easily scrapped the video and not posted it. But a lot of the YouTube guys will even say it themselves that, like, you're not going to always make something perfect. You're not going to always get it right. You're not professionally installing it if you're doing it at your home with the bare minimum equipment and things like that. So I don't feel bad that it didn't come out perfectly. But, you know, I just wanted to let y'all know that it's okay if you mess something up. Like, you did it yourself. You tried it. So just some words of encouragement. As far as the EK goes, I actually need to change the radiator. And I'm just waiting on the last couple of parts to come in to do that. Um... I'll be on a job for about two weeks, so I'll have a pretty big time gap in between of me posting, but I'll go ahead and film that as well, get some EK content, and hopefully I'll be back to doing mods on a regular basis. shaved in like freaking a year so this really hurts me but i guess we'll go ahead as you can see i started but my razor died you know first one we had to do was the goatee i saved myself the embarrassment of going too long but uh i'll update y'all on the second on the next move oh didn't see you there I mean, howdy. That's what you wanted? I fucking hate this. Dude, I don't even know what else. I don't want that.